two things I really care about have come to me, and I would like to try to synthesize them into a quick message. Uh, I saw a wonderful Steve Hartman on the road segment where a bunch of high school kids got together and every year apparently they go to a hotel, they're a chorus, and uh, one student sounds a tone and then the entire chorus starts singing a national anthem on balconies that go all the way up to the ceiling and it's an incredible sound. And at the end of it, um, Steve Hartman said, we are not a nation of soloists, uh, we are a nation of shared values and, you know, a group. And I agree with that. However, one person started the tone. That comes together with this remarkable book I just read, The Escape Artist, The Man Who Broke Out of Auschwitz to Warn the World by Jonathan Friedland. This is the story of the first Jew to escape from Auschwitz. His name was Walter Rosenberg, when at the age of 16, he was um, interned in Auschwitz. And he observed carefully. He committed everything he saw to memory, statistics of, of numbers of people coming in, the hundreds of thousands killed every day, babies to old people, anybody with the ethnicity to be a Jew because they were considered the scourge of an Aryan population and uh, they were exterminated. Walter Rosenberg finally did escape with a friend, Fred Wetzler. Uh, and the story of that, you'll, you'll have to read the book. But my point in bringing this together with the choir story is that they were the ones to sound the tone. They were the ones to start something. And it took a long time. People ignored their stories. They didn't move. They had believed that if they, if they got out and told people what was happening, that this was not simply resettling people. This was mass extermination. They believed the world would rally. And a lot of the world ignored them the same way a lot of the world ignores the mass extinction going on right now and many genocides and many other things. But some people, Greta Thunberg, Walter Rosenberg, they have the nerve to be the one, the first one to sound the tone. And I would like to commit to being the one whenever I see cruelty to say, no, that's wrong. When I see something worthy of applause to to start the applause, to be the one to offer a hug when it's needed. Just be the one, be the one to start the mass movement. I would love it if so many of you who are watching this would commit to do that. And if you're interested, read this remarkable book.